Hello and welcome to another game for Star Ladder Season 4. And it is, um, it is a quite important match. It's gonna be Mouse Sports versus Empire, and the reason it's an important match, you just saw it, I just put it away and then I put it back up again. As, um, my string is seemingly having some issues, but should be all fixed now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, all fixed now. So that means that I can tell you about points. That's right. The group stages are all about points for Star Ladder. Uh, the way that Star Ladder works is that you have first a group stage with every team. So you play a match against all the teams. So you play 15 games in total because there are 16 teams. And then at the end of the season, you'll have the top four that will be invited to the Kiev Cyber Arena offline finals in Kiev, Ukraine. So that is what these teams are fighting for, because that's where the money is at, that's where you want to be at, that's where you want to go to. And we already know that Navi is going to make it through regardless, because there's not a lot of teams anymore that can make it to 36 points, and if, they are, if there are, it's at least not more than four. So that is going to be uh, that. Navi has gone through. For the other teams, it is still a race. They need the points. And as you can see, Mouse Sports right now is not that high up the list, but you can also see they've only played 10 games. They need to play 15 more... 15? What am I saying? 5 more games. So that means they can still have 15 more points, meaning they can still get to those 36 points. And that's why they want to win this match. Empire. We just saw them play a game against Virtus Pro. Virtus Pro was able to get those points. But Abel was able to get to 30. They still have two more games that you have to play. Virtus Pro and Empire. And both those still have a chance. No title. They can still get 2 to 30 points. Not higher though. Just 30. Absolute Legends only can get towards those 27 points, so we can kind of assume that they really don't have that much chance anymore. At least, it's all dependent on other teams. Uh, they still have got a game to play, but just one. And if they win, they still have to rely on other people not to get more points. Which will, of course, be very difficult to do, because there's still a lot of games to be played. As we are going to have only two games today, and I say only two games, because tomorrow and the day after are going to be filled with games. So maybe we're going to have the situation again, the same as Wednesday and Thursday, where we actually had ten matches for Star Ladder at the same time. Well, not at the same time, but at the same day. And then uh, the thing is, for Star Ladder, there is... Um, there is two games at the same time, so there's five matches in a row, and we'll of course try to have coverage for every single one of them. Which might not always be possible, because also today one of the English casters that is normally covering the event, uh, Toby, of course, is uh, going to be going away to China again, so uh, we'll be left without uh, enough English casters, I would assume, but I will try to find some replacements for that. Uh, when the time comes, as we're just gonna drop that away because we see some stuff happening inside the game. The bands are done, it's the Wizard Templar Assassin on Dying and the Faceless Void. Meaning Empire is able to pick up the Batrider as the first pick, and surprisingly, they picked up the Batrider Rider rather than the Magnus. Magnus, the hero that we have seen winning so many times. And they have got the, that, of course, the face of Void banned out, so they already have been out for the counter against Sven. Batrider also a counter against Sven, and they're picking him up himself together with the Bounty Hunter, so they have got all their lanes sorted, meaning they already kind of give away what they want to do. Uh, so we have got Magnus, of course, on mouse boards, and I have to say, it is going to be tricky. Now I, ha now I also have to say, we saw the Magnus being played by, played by mouse boards last Friday. In Ghost League, if you were watching uh, me cast together with Perch at that time, and it is um, well, they play two games. Of course, Ghost League is also a league system; everybody plays two games against each other. Uh, they play two games. We're able to get Magnus in both of the games. First game, they got the Magnus, and they lost. And we're gonna see if that's the, uh, the case here, because the second game they still managed to win with that one. Sorry for spoilers, but hey. Uh, but it is um, it is going to be tricky to see if they can, can win with it again, because of Mouse course maybe they need a bit of a few bad. against how Empire plays against Magnus. They weren't really ready for how the opponent team that last Friday played against that Ravage. Against that uh, Magnus, what am I saying Ravage for? Ravages are stupid, as you might have noticed. 
But uh, yeah, it is uh, it is a mouse picking up magnets again. They also pick up the darks here on the Jakiro, so I have got their off lane ready or potentially their mid lane. The last couple of times we have seen them playing the magnets, they were playing it as an off lane, but having the darks here as well might be that they go for a darks here off lane and just have magnets in the mid lane because we've seen that working a lot more often than any uh, thing. Uh, than anything else. We have of course got the Jakiro as a good support. We have got some ban outs as well. It's the Rubik and the Lashrak ban out on the side of Mouse Sports. Two combinations that make this fan combination very strong and they don't want to be facing that one. We have also got the ban out for the anti mage and for the tiny two carries that Empire does not want to face. And uh, with, of course, the anti mage and the Faces Void out there, uh, it will be mean that Black, I mean, his hard carry pool is going to be diminished. Uh, probably look at that. And banning out the Pudge. Because if Black doesn't play anti mage or Faces Void, Pudge is very close around the corner. But he's not going to be having fun to do that. And Empire doesn't want to face anything like that. So they ban him out. Vengeful Spirit banned out now also for Mouse Sports, yeah. just to make sure that the double stun gets denied and we have got a pick up for Luna. This is interesting. Empire might be using the Sven as a support hero here and let the Luna farm instead. And the thing about a support Sven is that he can support as a Sven. I mean, we've seen him before, even before the buff was done. He was sometimes being picked up as a support Sven purely because of his stuns. But the thing is about a support Sven at this current meta game, if he still gets some farm up later on, he doesn't need that much to be strong. If he gets a BKB up at some point, if he gets some time to farm at some point, then he's still going to be very dangerous to deal with. So, um... It's looking very dangerous for mouse sports. Let's see what kind of carries they want to pick up or what kind of support they want to pick up or well not really as a support hero but what kind of heroes they want to pick up to have together with that Macros. We already have the vacuum into reverse polarity, into macropyre, into ice path, into uh, well whatever damage goes through shockwave. Um, so that's already a lot of team fight potential and they actually pick up the lone druid so that will be the one that uh, mouse sports will be farming with that will be the four plus one strategy they will probably be going with most likely as we're waiting for empire what is their last pickup gonna be they have got the bad ride and the bounty hunter potentially at solo lane and off lane with the Sven Luna and then something else in uh, in their tri lane slash dual lane tri lane would be a nice one it's gonna indeed be a tri lane and it might actually be a no ganking sports. rotating Lina Sven combination with the ganking lineup I love it I love it. Who doesn't? Sven Lina, of course, a combination that's super strong. A lot of burst damage coming out. One stun Stormhammer following it up with the Stor Lightning Strike Array. And that's going to be one dead hero, especially if you have a Lucent Team over the top of that. The only one that wouldn't die from that one is probably Lone Druid. Well, Magnus probably wouldn't die yet either. So they have to make sure that they're going to be on the right lane. Might actually be trying to go for an aggressive try lane, or depending on if Sven and Luna are going to rotate around. But the thing that we know about Empire is that they want to be consistent on their lanes. They want to be strong on their lanes, winning their lanes, and take it from there and win the game from there. At least that is their plan, that is their tactic. And uh, with the lean and the Sven, they have sure got some strong lanes going off there. As uh, we're going to see uh, the last pickup for Mouse Sports there. They're taking their time, taking it to their bonus time. This is the last time that they have. Both teams actually got uh, reduced some of their bonus time due to the game starting late. And then they were, the teams weren't in time on the lane either. And we have got the Enigma being picked up. So it's going to be a solo laning lone druid top. Maybe supported by Jakiro with a Magnus probably in the mid lane and uh, the darks here on the bottom lane but we'll find out shortly as we're waiting for everybody to pick up their heroes before we can actually jump ourselves inside this game and uh, then have ourselves indeed a, a fun a fun good good game indeed as i just uh, realized that i am too selfless because i just got blamed for not playing commercials during the break just now but hey i didn't deserve that because my streamer said it that's it that's it. Anyway, let's see and uh, wait what we're gonna see here because it should be interesting for sure. Of course, for Mouse Sports, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be team fights, reverse polarity, black hole, vacuum into black hole, vacuum into black reverse polarity, vacuum into reverse polarity into black hole into microfire into iron shells into ice paths. You name it, it's all there. It is all there. Uh, but uh, for uh, Empire, it is uh, lane control. They can be a lot more aggressive early game than Mouse Force can be. But we'll see how they're going to be dealing with that and how Mouse Force is going to be dealing with that. We're going to see uh, Scandal playing the Bedrider, so he'll be taking on that mid lane up on his uh, hero. We have Silence on the Sven that is indeed then a support Sven. It will be Blow Your Brain playing the Luna. It will be Goblack on the Lina. Oh my god, I'm going to make so much mistakes with the Luna and the Lina and the same team in the same game. We're going to see Phonic on his Bounty Hunter. 
No real surprise there, and that's everybody for Empire on their lanes, and it looks like we're gonna just have a safe lane for Empire here, with these two trying to uh, create uh, mayhem all around the map, maybe. They don't have a, uh, well actually they do have a smoke with them, so we might see a bit of early aggression coming off from that Lena. They will be up against Pass, who is gonna be there on his darks here. Uh, of course, I mean, if, he, if there's going to be a double stun and he's already being harassed a bit, I'm not sure if he can survive that still, but uh, he is at least going to be... Um I'm going to be playing the darks here in the mid lane. We have, of course, Fada, and he will be playing that Magnus, and he will be playing it on the mid lane. And he will be uh, trying to get those levels up fast, so he has his reverse polarity fast. We have Kuroki playing the Enigma, who's going to be going into the jungle. No real surprise there. We have got uh, the lone druid played by Black. He's going to be farming in this top lane. He actually has his bear with him as well, not sending bottom to try and help out there. Nope. Wants to keep it for himself. And Alex, of course, on his signature, Jakiro, or at least the hero that he's always on. <laughs> if it's there, he is on that Jakiro, trying not to miss any ice paths, of course. Which is uh, pretty vital, to be fair. Oh, Dark's here. Gonna be finding uh, Silence here in the jungle. Is there gonna be follow up? Is there, are they gonna try on that? Nah, it's just Erasmus. He's just running through with his haste rune. There's too much to go in on anyway. The haste rune would have kept him alive regardless. This will be, uh, it will be a tricky lane for uh, for Pass. I mean, his Iron Shell will be able to push out the lane, yes, but I'm not sure if he's can get, in, can get so much uh, harassment off with that or so much. Uh, well, last hit up with that because Luna should be able to deny them all, should be able to uh, to last hit everything and then not get harassed by the Iron Shell as we still have the uh, Sven and the Luna just, uh, well, they're sticking around, they're just threatening that they're still there, making sure that Pass is not going to be feeling safe to go around and actually try to uh, to try and get some experience. Goblock will make sure of that one as he's now showing himself again just to be sure, like, hey, I'm still here. You can hide all you want, you can run all you want, but we are still here. Iron Shells in the meantime, two up on, uh, on the creeps. And attack. with the lane pool, that will be slightly annoying for Blowy Brain, but uh, the luck has it that one of the uh, creeps, the one with the Iron Shell, is just hitting the tower. So Blowy Brain not really getting harassed by that one that much. So, so far, so good. And if you're wondering, where can we expect the first blood? Well, I think Lena and Sven are going to be responsible for making that first blood happen. Be it on a uh, pass on his darks here. If the pass is starting to get a bit on... Uh, um, impatient, or be that in the mid lane if they want to use their s their smoke up to try and uh, gank up on Fada. Though I have to say, Fada is of course on the Magnus, which is a very tanky hero. And Radiant tanky heroes are hard to take down. It's that attack. simple. Um, <laughs> we have got to meet Funic, who is at level two. He's at least getting more experience than passes. Ooh, camera work, amazing. So uh, we have to just keep a uh, track on that one and, and just, um, I, I know, pun intended, track on the bounty hunter. But uh, just make sure that we know a bit how they are comparing to each other. Empire so far uh, being uh, slightly ahead with their Funic already on level 3. And uh, exclamation marks coming off from uh, on Black. He wants to have some harassment perhaps on from Alex. Uh, Alex, by the way, who does not, well, who does have two sentry wars, they might try to go for him if they get an entangle up on t at some point when the bear is at the right level for that entangle. Uh, but until then, he'll just be uh, trying to harass. And, and I mean, Funic will be fine. He's done this before. He can do this. And actually, an orb of venom up on the spirit bear is actually quite nice. Also harassing Funic uh, a bit here. As we have Fada back on uh, almost half mana. He has got himself a bottle. He's got four stick charges. And he's, of course, against Scandal, who is uh, that bad rider. He, he just spams out those uh, sticking aid bombs, making sure that the stacks on Fada's <laughs> uh, magic stick are going to be uh, there constantly. The harassment is still there though, sticks, uh, sticky napalms, definitely not nothing, as uh, there's going to be more coming, the harassment from Fala is going to come too, but not really successful as of yet, for last hit wise, it's 10 for 0 upon the Magnus, with Scandal being 16 for 1, so it is in favor of Scandal, but not by as much as you might have think, Skewer to the tower, Scandal, going to try to fly himself away, this might be turning into first blood though, tower is going to hit one more time, one shockwave would do the job, there is 10 stick charges, he needs to use him, he's standing in the fire, he might actually go down, shockwave goes through, doesn't hit, and he's going down, but as does the bad rider, what was he doing, was he blocked by creeps? He could not get away, five charges of sticky napalm, and the stick charges were used, but it wasn't enough. And the bed rider still went down, but only after, after Fala went down. First blood goes towards the bed rider, then they're back on this middle lane. That is gonna be the start of this uh, of this uh, game, or at least the start of the of that part of the game. As Luna is just uh, well, what is she, what was she doing? Gonna be taking some experience there again. She's uh, she's now level four. She's got 19 last hits and 20 even. She's even on par with the uh, well, sorry, she is Luna with the uh, with the bed rider. 
Uh, she is uh, a bit higher even than Lone Druid, who we can compare it to. Lone Druid should also be having free farm, but uh, not getting as many last hits just yet as we have Phonic trying to arrest here. Gets him out of his head. We're being placed down as well. I felt going through, and it should be Phonic going down. A bit uh, careless there with uh, trying to harass while he knew that there were sentry words up on Alex. And as Jakiro, Alex indeed picking up the last hit for that one as well. He now got enough mana for boots, uh, money for boots rather, and he should be uh, picking up that one as he's going to be a happy Jakiro indeed. As a scandal is just going to continue with this harassment on his middle lane. Fada having some trouble here. Still on a shockwave through that. There's still two. two uh, ooh, flow. Flame break. And there's a regen rune actually on the Malkins, but there's still two charges of bottle on the uh, on the bad driver, so he should be fine. But the regen rune on Fada will make sure that he's not going to die anytime soon. It was just uh, scandal trying to bait out that. Um, that regen room perhaps if you realized it was there which you probably did to be fair and meantime we have a smoke up for silent and goblet there's still no ward here up so uh, they're still not going to be able to do that so they if, if they're going to go really if they're going to go do something they have to basically do it middle because we see pass being very careful he's not even going to well he stacks some of the ancients not going to stack anymore though now he's going to do something again pops up some iron shells but they are indeed going for that middle lane they are going to come from the river maybe from the high ground yes they are ri river high ground there it is I want to go for Fada, he's going to chase him down, here comes the last two, here comes the first stun, follow up stun, Fada is going to be going down for the second time this game, or is he? Yes he is, it is bad right, it is the last hit that gets it with that sticky napalm on there, it was a lot of damage going through, and it will be uh, Scandal that will be staying alive, and it will be Fada that drops for the second time this game, with a nice assist going the way of the Lina, of the Sven. And uh, we can uh, just, uh, oh, wait a second, Kuroki taking some harassment from Phonic here, full on HP on mana. And Phonic actually also, oh, he's actually going to be able to kill Lop, and that's a kill! And not enough going there, he doesn't have six charges for mana again to uh, to go invisible, and the haste room gets picked off still by Scandal, so still stays in the team. So good pickoffs from us for all around. The one thing that we haven't pointed out yet, but what's obviously there, which I say every time basically, it's gonna be that uh, there is of course an enigma in the jungle for mouse sports and no jungle hero up on empire so enigma is getting lost it's an experience in that jungle that empire is not getting so that is gonna be putting mouse sports slightly in favor of golden experience over the board if everything else was even it's not even though it's still in favor of empire of course due to the pickoffs and uh, due to the last hits on the lanes the experience is, uh, is also even due to those uh, kills but it's M it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, Kuroki that's making a difference here, that is uh, helping out, helping Mao stay even indeed, as it would not have been e even otherwise. We still have Pass at level two even. It's seven, si well, it's almost seven minutes into the game, but Pass still level two. That is painful, and we, like I said, we can't compare him to the Bounty Hunter. And Bounty Hunter is actually a level six, so that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be getting him inside uh, inside of the struggles. Gold, if he uh, can get some pickups, of course the last two is still there again on the bat rider, and they do want to go for this again. He's just waiting until he can, though. Scandal is going to pretend that there is no one there, but there is, and there's a track, and there's the last two. Can they get enough damage? I'm out of up on Scandal on the side. Screw away from Fada, and that should be both funny and Scandal calling off uh, the uh, the charge, and that's going to be Mouse uh, Fada staying alive for now, being saved again. In the meantime, here comes Sven and Lina once again. Now there's no word up here for the dire side, and they now realize that as well, as Fada is not seemingly uh, acting on that one. There's no trees there either, though, and they're just going to go. Stun one, stun two, not even going to hit, reverse polarity, it's on two, stun two, it's on Fada. Shockwave still going through, it will still be Go Black that goes down. Fada will pay for that one, or really, one more hit needed to add Silent, not able to do it, but it will be funny. They just comes in with the shuriken, was able to do that one, as we still have this fan going down. Silent, not able to stay alive, funny trying to get himself away. Last two up on Alex. He's gonna go for Kuroki instead, though. Kuroki knocked down to the low ground. He'll be able to stay alive, but looks a bit. Alex, not so lucky. He will be dropping there. And uh, Mouse Kuroki comes back. The lawyer Brain doesn't really want to go in on that. He is too low on that. And uh, Magnus actually picked up the bounty hunter. That was top lane. Still has a track. He's gonna try to hide. But um, well, I'm I'm just hoping to see if the two minute delay is gonna be enough. Uh, two minute delay is gonna be enough. I'm saying, and I'm waiting two minutes to hope that Twitch actually uh, worked again because obviously it didn't work. Seriously annoying. Uh, we have Silent and Goblack looking for kills. They of course got the Lena and the Sven combination kill team tag team. They've been involved in five out of the eight kills. It goes for both of them. I'm gonna go towards the middle lane. There is a dire ward here scouting that all out though. We're gonna find out 
I'm just not gonna be as active in casting until I know that there is actually a working stream because it's it's just very annoying. If that's indeed the case, but hey. Hope the two minutes are down fairly soon. Done fairly soon. I'm just gonna say, can you all send error reports to Twitch, please? And blow your brain in the meantime. He's got a Yasha for himself, so doing pretty nice uh, with this farm. He's actually highest on the top of the list for Empire, but it's still gonna be this guy, the Black, the Lone Druid, that's gonna be having to uh, to pull it all together to make it happen for most sports. He's not been in any kills apart from that assist on the bounty hunter earlier on the top lane that most of the people missed because my stream died. And now his stream is back. There we go. Wow. Wow, that's annoying. Smoke up for Empire of the Meantime. I'm happy that the stream is back. I'm hoping that you're still sticking around with me, making sure that other people still know that there is indeed a game still going on. Lasso hits up on Alex. They want to go for Lina Sun as well. Alex being dropped down before it's already even fights. Laguna Blade being used for that as well. They are looking away to make sure that Fada cannot get his reverse polarity off. Goblike still alive for some strange reason, using a stick charge at exactly the right time. 20 HP up on him. Funny trying to get away. Dragon Slave still going through. We still see Funny there. Shockwave is still going to get him off on the last moment. Fada. Picking up the kill. And Empire waiting around. They don't want to be caught out in that team fight potential. Sven landing a son of a father. Father can still score in two seconds. In which case, uh, oh, that's going to be. Oh, truck wave to press him off. Double kill for Father right there. And there goes. Oh, sorry, I'm just checking again if the stream is up. There goes. Uh, the Enigma is still, still going down. It will be Black that will be dropping it for the first time. One more hit away from dying. And it's Scoundrel that picks up the kill. Blow your brain. Trying to do what he can to stay alive. Picks up a kill in the meantime. But still goes down to Fada. That's a triple kill over the board. Four heroes still dead on mouse. So Fada's the last one alive. Flame, flame break will put him some more in range of Funnic. Shockwave gets dodged by Funnic. Shuriken toss. No mana. There is only right clicks that they can do it. A man fight goes to Funnic. And he goes invisible at exactly the right time. 29 HP left. And that's gonna be uh, well passed back alive again. He already died earlier. Gonna put an iron shell up on him. Doesn't want to die again, but might be in the risk of di doing so because there's in seven seconds and the last two. There comes a TP of the Enigma, and that's a blink away from Scandal. Doesn't want to be there anymore. So that is gonna be a fight going the way of Empire, massively actually. And Dyer's to add to that, most of those kills were track kills. So more gold going the way of Empire as the gold graph spikes up. And uh, we have people all t all chatting, but that's apparently what they do. As we have also the experience graph in their favor, no real surprise, of course. As uh, yeah, just uh, just to show you the graphs in the meantime. Oh, you just I just showed the graphs uh, for, of course, uh, since uh, my stream died. Apparently, Twitch died. Please send us uh, submit a report, regardless if it's up back again. I would really much appreciate it if you do that because there was no issue on my side whatsoever. It's just that uh, the only thing that happened on my side basically was that at some point all the viewers dropped away while I was still encoding and not dropping frames and stuff like that. So please send a, rep a report to Twitch because we want this to not happen again. As we have got a uh, observer workplace there, aggressive. Last two up on Fara. He has reverse polarity up though, but he is stopped the entire time and he cannot do anything. God strength up on Silent, but he's of course at support. So cannot do that much with it, and that's going to be Mouse also backing up because they can't really do that much without Fada unless they want to get a good black hole in, but there's no Blink Dagger up on Kuroki. He has almost got the money for it, though. He's uh, only got uh, 50 gold to go, and then he has it, and then he wants to get a Flame Break, not going to hit anything. They're going to count toward that one. Do they have it on a Gem of Truth? I no, they have just a, another ward down in there. Uh, from the Lina being placed there. She still has one Sentry Ward left, as we have got the... Black, the lone druid, still farming. He's got 3,300 gold. He's got his hand of Midas. Almost got enough for his radiance, or at least for his relic first, uh, to say that. Uh, but in the meantime, it is Empire that's trying to get as much advantage of this game as they can. Oh, Sven. Oh, Silent. Can he get a stun off? Flame Break trying to help uh, Silent out. He's going to be back. He's going to go down, but this is actually quite nice. He actually chased everybody around. 
to this point, probably knowing that he would die, but giving his team the chance to get away because they, they would have otherwise been forced to team fight. There would have been a score, there would have been a reverse polarity, and they all three would have died. And he, um, well, he made sure that he was the only one that died. They will might they might get a tower in return for this, so it would be the second tower to drop in the game on the side of Empire. Empire themselves have already taken down three towers, and they are pushing down on the bottom lane as well because Blow Your Brain. He's just standing there, he's got his Mantis Tower complete. Bottom tower and he's actually gonna pop the fortifications soon. If people don't come here, there goes a TP. Radiant he's gonna be a lone root that's gonna fallen. continue farming there in the meantime. And he's a bad rider that went down on the, the middle lane with Enigma not using his black hole for that one, even though he does have his blink dagger. Malefice was enough, it will be the uh, pass that goes down. There's the first player, TF yeah, on Phonic. Sandward being placed as well. Dubrat going through and Phonic no longer able to stay alive. Where is he? No, it goes down. Blues and Bean still picks up. Also Alex, and now Kuroki, gonna be on the run. Still has a black hole, cannot get it off though, and even if he did, there was no follow-up. Father trying to get away from this one, losing beam. Double kill for Blow Your Brain. Oh, oh, you're not going to beg. And that is four heroes down on the side of Mouse Sports, and that were all the four heroes that were there. The one the person that wasn't there was Black that was still farming. The four plus one strat that we are used Dyer's to seeing from Mouse is still uh, going on. He's got 4.4k gold though, has got quite a bit of gold there, but he needs more and he needs to try to help his team soon because they're they're gonna lose it without him they need his support they need his team fights they need those team fights regardless it's gonna be a tower that's getting denied nice deny from black he has his relic complete he has a knockout the recipe yet for the radiance but the deny was actually quite pretty sweet pretty sweet indeed uh, let's see what other people have Burgess we saw the lone druid we saw the blow your brain Luna we have the blink dagger from the bad I saw that already as well. She's now building towards the four staff, just 50 gold away from that one. As Bounty Hunter has, of course, got his uh, Vladimir suffering, has got drums, has got faith, which is just a happy Bounty Hunter or a person to the max. And we're gonna see what he's gonna build next. Maybe more or less, maybe Assault Karas, who knows? Blink dagger already up on Enigma, probably wants to go for BKB next. Uh, Radiance, uh, like we saw, already be being built up by the Lone Druid still. We have got the mechanism being built up by the Darks here. Jakiro doesn't have that much. Uh, we just need to wait and see what he's going to be doing with the money when Dyer's he gets it. As we have Phonic scouting out some people, there is no gem up on uh, the Radiant side. Trax goes off. Now they know he's here. Sandward being placed there as well, though he's not going to be able to be there again safely. As Sven just Dyer's still takes care tower. of the tower, picks it up by himself. Is here actually all by himself. As Camel just clears away some trees. And he gets the last two up on Kuroki. Back with you. Kuroki dead before the fight starts. Yes, he is. Here comes Shockwave going through. There is still no score, still no reverse polarity. They just go in one by one. Nice silent trying to do something, trying to chase the bear around. There's reverse polarity. It's on two. And go Black dies. Alex dies with him, though. It is one for one on that encounter. But there's also Puss going down to the bounty on the two Phonics, who's just trying to pick up heroes on the side. Sun lands on Fada. He already uses reverse polarity. No more risk for that. And the turn rate was so slow because of that napalm that he could not even turn around and do anything before he died now it's black last one here track is up there there's also two sticky napalms are trying to get him they don't have anything ap apart from just right clicks and the flame and the flames were gonna be enough and scandal picks up the kill five heroes dead on the side of mouse sports and a massive team fight potential that they have they're just not able to get positioning for it the vision is not there. Uh, if we look at the map though, the most of the wards, there are a lot of wards there for the dire side. They've got wards here, they've got wards here. But most of their fights have been defensive and that's not the way that you want to play it. And uh, by the way, if you look at wards for the Radiant side, the middle lane is covered. The jungle is covered. They're making sure that nobody can leave the forest uh, unaware as that is uh, just nice control coming off from Empire. And I'm still not dropping any frames. Glad to have everybody back. Sorry for uh, dropping away. I've seen that more people have joined again after being back up. So thank you for, for doing so. Um, of course, there are there is also another English caster going on right now, casting right now on own TV. So you can check him out if you want to. And, uh, you can also watch this game inside the game client, actually. You should definitely do so. The tickets are only 240. Oh, blah, blah, Kuroki. There's really no chance for him to get any black holes off. He just constantly gets picked off. Laguna Blade for him, just for him, and he is uh, gonna be going down again, 45 seconds without that black hole as a courier of the dire side, actually in the previous uh, game also, uh, previous, game, previous fight also went down, uh, but yeah, it is, um, it is also the ticket, like I said, 240 euros in uh, the game client, and you have access to all the, the games of uh, this season, of course also of the offline finals that will start on the 20th, 20th, on this of December,
with four teams that are going to Kiev, going to the Cyber Arena. That's what this game is for, of course, as well. There is still a lot of uncertainty of which teams can go there. Both Empire and Mouseport still have a chance to go there. And both of these need to keep need the points that they can get now. So this is a very important match. Uh, Mouse sports, they still would have a chance to go if they uh, don't get this win. They're just a bit less points. Same thing goes for no, Empire. Kind of needs these points. If Empire doesn't get these points, they they will not have it in their own hands anymore to go there anymore. So that will be uh, very tricky to um, to have the, uh, their situation there. As the track goes up, there's a ward up in the high ground. Also, just uh, allowing the track to go off central ward instantly, knowing that there was a ward there. Father will still be keeping track of though, literally, because he has got that track. I'm not sure if Empire actually wants to go in on this. Uh, as we have got the butterfly now completed up on the Luna, so that will be the next item that they will gonna have. A gold graph in the meantime towards the 20k in favor of Empire. We've got 15k experience in favor of Empire. But I have to say, still, I mean, we see the potential of mouse spores. We see the potential of the Magnus and uh, the vacuum and uh, the ice path and the Macropire. If they get that off, that will be a team wipe for Empire. The heroes of Empire are not that tanky. And that is just, I mean, they just have to get the team fight off and then they should be able to kill everybody off. The only one that's a bit tanky may be the Sven, who's going for BKB, by the way. He picks up his Mint for Amor as a first item. Tracks going off left and right. Bet Rider might be a bit tanky. More tracks. And that's uh, oh, also work right up. Sun's already on Kuroki. He blinks himself away, but it's already too late. Before pass for Alex. For Fada, both go down, all three go down, now back up for Fada, and that is a good black hole! It catches four heroes, one already dies, and there's the Eclipse, Lord Brain tries to do as much as he can before it goes down, but down he will go, and the Aegis is used. He will be up again shortly as Goblack's trying to get away, Lord Your Brain will help him do so as he just picks off Fada before it goes down, Bedrider actually getting the last hit on that one, and five heroes down on the side of Mouse Sports. But that was a black hole that they waited for. And if they would have had Fada still up, if they would have had uh, the Jakiro still up, if they would have had a Darcyro still up, that would be such a different fight. But hey, it's all ifs. And ifs are bad. If you're not having the ifs, if that makes sense. Ice Pass still gonna go through, trying to slow them down from taking down the tier 3 tower. But to be fair, the reverse polarity was used in that fight, Black Hole was used in that fight, they don't have the team fight to go anything now. And Look at these bouncing blades, this is just so annoying, and Luna is getting more and more gold, that is one set of racks being picked up just like that. Question is, are they going to go for more, and we'll just back off. There's of course no full team here for Empire, there's just three, because the two heroes were picked off. Ah, oh, two and a half, as yes, the Aegis also got popped on Lawyer Brain. And it will be uh, fun and that will just take the farmer in the middle lane. And he just continues to do so. He has a Desolator, by the way, and 2700 gold, so he's doing very good for himself. A gem on uh, the Lina to just make sure they have the map control. And uh, nobody else does. We have got Scandal. He doesn't have anything new since the last time we saw him. Four Staff and Blink Dagger. We saw them both, I believe. Or at least I uh, saw them being built up. We have Luna going for an Assault Kuras. Picked up the Hyperstone already. He's got the Plate Mill. It's very close by that Assault Kuras already. He just needs the recipe for it. As we, uh, well... Sven, he's got his overclub, he's almost got his BKB. I think I had everybody now on the side of the Radiant uh, with the four staff on the Lina also. So let's take a look at what the Dire has new since the last time we checked. They are of course the ones that have died a couple of times. So they are not the ones that are, well, the ones that should have new items, but we're gonna check anyway. Mechanism completed up on the Dark Sea is gonna go for a pipe next by the looks of it. We have got Jakiro center wards for him just to make sure that they have some more vision even though of course it's not much use when they're actually in the gem of true set on the opponent team well I guess it is nice if you pr if you place it somewhere at least you see him coming I mean they might destroy uh, the uh, the ward but at least you know where he is when he destroys it right so it's, if it's gonna be used to set up some kind of fight then it might be uh, might be nice if they have some kind of dust in the meantime track going off here on black from the side the black's bear is also going for an assault cross and he is uh, not as fast as the Luna by the looks of it. He doesn't have a hypersone, only has a plate mill so far, and he's just still continuing to farm. And if we look at the net worth also, we see him being almost, uh, si well, 5k, more than 5k below that uh, lone druid. And that's going to be, uh, sorry, below that, uh, that, that Luna. So that's pretty painful there, as um, we haven't even got the assault grass to complete up on Luna. They didn't take that long. The question is now for Empire, when are they gonna continue going or are they just happy with letting uh, Mouse trying to force something out, trying to force their team fight? Because if Empire goes pushing up the high ground, they will be in a very bad position, or well for uh, Mouse for a good position, to try and take a team fight. And they don't want to have that. 
They don't want to have to worry about that black hole, that reverse polarity, because that potential, regardless of how far they are ahead, is still there. And they are very well aware of that, as his mouse. The bed rider picked up a pipe. Oh, blinking. Not enough for Malefic, though. Scandal looking for a way in also. There's going to be people coming in from the side. Here they go. Warcry up. There goes the sun. Lands on the bear only, though. The last two in the meantime. Up on Kuroki. Sun to follow up. There is a reverse polarity. Hits on three. Black hole on three. Three heroes dead on the side of Empire. And now they're going to try to go for more. But Pass, a lot of trouble for him. The shockwave will help him out, though. And that's going to be four heroes down. But the only one left alive is Goblack on his Luna. Luna, who is going to blink in. I'm not sure what she's thinking about doing. She wants to have a Laguna Blade to the Pass, but she gives away her gem in doing so. Why did she go back in? Frustrating. But that is what I said. The team fight potential mouse force is just huge. And that was only with three heroes inside the reverse polarity. And that was just the potential. They can still definitely do this. Even when 25k goals behind. This is gonna be still the team fights that will make the difference. If they get a team fight, they can get a tier 3 tower, they can get some barracks maybe. It's just a question of now backing off in time, making sure they don't overextend, and then trying to do the same thing again. But it is possible. It is so possible, and we just saw that it was. As we have got Lone Druid picking up the gold for the tower, and he now, well, he has actually got the gem. Uh, does he have anything more? What does the courier have on him? No, he doesn't have anything there. Okay. Never mind that then. But that was the tier 2 tower going down. The first one actually going down on the side of Empire. As we have got uh, 1200 gold upon the Magnus, who now also has a blink dagger, so he'll be able to initiate a bit better than he did before. But those kind of team fights, those are the ones that we want to see from our sports. And the urn still gets picked up by the Jakiro. 29 minute urn, hey, it's late, but urns are always useful. Urns are always useful, no matter what stage of the game you're buying it in, apart from when your throne is about to explode, I guess, in a way. But hey, it's useful. In a way. So we have got 2k gold up on the Enigma. Right now also is the important time to save for Bivex Empire. And they know the black holes on cooldown. And they know they only have to deal with the reverse polarity. And apparently they're not too bad uh, to sad about that one. As Spada is just completely out of mana. So it's actually a bit bad because right now this is the time that he should be here to try and take the team fight. But Fada waiting for that mana. Now only coming back in. But it's too late for the tier 3 tower. Pipe runs out. There's the ward up. Ice path not going to happen because there's BKBs up. That's Akira already going down. Is it going to be more? Vacuum in. And that's their first polarity. It's not too only though. Gets some afterwards instantly. No black hole. Fada goes down. Bear goes down as well. But as it does Candle. Silent looking for something. Has his BKB on black. We're going to try to get away, but now fun. It's going to be on the run. In the meantime, the barracks are going to be taken down. They don't care about hero kills. Buyback coming from Fada. There is Kuroki. 30 seconds until his black hole is back up. Yeah, that's Lower Brain. He's going to be uh, getting killed off there by the Magnus Shockwave. Buyback to the Luna again. So he wants to be back in here shortly afterwards as well, as we are waiting for to see if Three Mouse can actually successfully force these out of the base. There should not be any overextension. If they overextend now, it's very risky because then then they might be losing this game. The age is also very important. They need to take this age as mouse sports. They cannot give it away because one sacrifice from Luna will be able to get those barracks down. Blink in, Malefice up on Silent. As Magna still goes down to Funic. And now Kuroki. And that's going to be a black hole castle. But is there going to be enough damage? No, there is not because here comes Blow Your Brain. Lucid Beam going through now. Black on the way out. He cannot get away though. And it is him that goes down. Silent able to stay alive with 18 HP from the bear, from the radiant damage. Radiance damage rather as Luna is just insane right now and regardless they're gonna go towards the bottom lane and they know that they have the advantage and they know that they can take some uh, some tower perhaps if they have got the right possibility there's only Pass and Alex left alive they have 50 seconds without the uh, without Lone Druid and that does not have a buyback it's only the uh, well actually um, Lone Druid does have a buyback interestingly enough but probably doesn't want to use it because he can't use the bear anyway so why buy back because all the items are on the bear so that is gonna be yeah, that's gonna be that to be fair. The blurry brain just pushing the lane out, gonna be by himself, gonna be all now supported by a scandal on the bat rider. Let's see if they can uh, get the tier three tower a bit lower. That's of course their goal. Of course Alex is gonna try to stop that micro fire going through. Now has to get away from those bouncing blades. It's just too risky. And there uh, there goes the ice pad locking back scandal, but the tower already dead. Now bouncing blades will do the job. Barracks drop. Barracks drop on two sides. This is going to be too much. Mega creeps will be happening there. Mouse, can they do something against it? Still, 
252 HP left, and he's very funny. You can hit it. You can hit it. There we go. Thank you. Vacuum back in. Can they do more? Laguna Blade, Reverse Polarity, hits on two, Sharp back going through. But it is, uh, well, Godlike will still die, but Mega Creeps are there. It will be Magnus that still dies. Bye back from Alina. And it is Luna that also drops. Gemma Cruz on the floor. Ice Pass gonna still hit. Funny going down still as well. Alex now gonna get picked off because this is where Sven supports Sven. is no longer a support Sven. This is not a support Sven anymore. He's got his Mask of Madness. He's got his BKB. He is happy. He has got uh, three points for his team right now because the GG is called and Mouse Sports will be the ones that do not get three points uh, from this encounter. We'll have to wait for the four other games that they have to play to see if they still have a chance to go to Kiev. But Empire not exactly secured la yet for their spot, but definitely a step closer as they got three points. Virtus Pro got three points, but Virtus Pro also needs to play two matches still. Hmm. It's going to be tricky to see who it's going to be going through. It's still so much on the line with these last couple of games. Tomorrow and the day after will be will be most important as possible also still get picked off there but tomorrow and Tuesday will be vital days for all the teams that are still in uh, the competition for uh, those four places to go to the Kiev Cyber Arena of course Navi is already qualified they are already secured for that spot but it is uh, gonna be up for Empire Mouse Virtus Pro no Tidehunter even still has a chance let's put this up for a second Fnatic, almost forgot those. Look at that. Absolute Legends doesn't really have a chance anymore. Mouse Sports has a chance. No Titan tries a chance. Empire vs. Pro Fnatic, Navi. All those still have a chance. And Empire is now going to be tied together with Fnatic. Virtus Pro is of course tied on points but still has two more matches to play. With only one more match for Fnatic, it is Starlight are there. Sometimes delays, postpones, teams have wild cards that they can use so that their game is not going to be played tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to have a couple of matches. Uh, let's see, we are going to have Mouse Sports vs. L Pride, Virtus Pro vs. Illuminate. So both of those teams can get some more points. We have Mouse Sports against 3D Max as well, Illuminate vs. Pulse as well. Even though both of those teams, do, I mean, Illuminate and Pulse also an important match because they want to have points because otherwise they might be dropped out of the Star Series, which is not ideal at all. We have Absolute Legends versus Virtus Pro. We have Navi versus We as Asian, and uh, we're, you can check out my website tomorrow or my, or Reddit tomorrow to see uh, when those games exactly are. As I will always po post the roster for all the games that are going to be played tomorrow on uh, Reddit. So check that out. And uh, thank you for watching. My name is Shiva. If you want to support me. Subscribe to my YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash shivergaming, very much appreciated. Of course, you also see my Twitter name. It's also Shiver Gaming, and it's also Shiver Gaming on Facebook. I know, it is very, very standard. Anyway, uh, let's uh, jump ourselves out of this game and see what's up next. I don't think there's going to be anything up next, but if, uh, if nothing else, then I will at least be able to spam you with commercials. So, uh, uh, otherwise, of course, have a good day. But be right back.